Hello everyone, and welcome back to Toku Toy Theory, where we take a look at toys from various Tokusatsu series, and try to figure out why they look and act the way they do. This time, I'll be doing part 2 of my look at Conrad Wizard, where I'll be uh, looking at his Dragon Styles. In this video, we'll cover the rings associated with the Dragon Styles, the four Dragon Styles themselves, as well as the additional All Dragon, and the Drago Timer. So, let's begin. So first, we have the transformation rings for the four dragon styles. The Flame Dragon Wizard Ring, Water Dragon Wizard Ring, Hurricane Dragon Wizard Ring, and Land Dragon Wizard Ring. These four are basically enhanced versions of their original counterparts. As can be seen, they have the same general shapes, and are made from the same gemstones but do have some differences. The first one to be noticed is that each one of them has a second gem embedded on top of the original one within a golden kind of uh, fastener or kind of uh, crest of a kind. And that may be to in indicate a uh, increase in the power the power of the elemental magics that they grant. And though it might be a little bit hard to notice, they're also cast in slightly different shades of the colors of the originals. And this may also be just indicate how they've changed. Each one can go from the mode where they look like a normal ring to the one where they're ready for transformation. And here you can see that the mask that they take on now each have slight draconic properties such as two dragon horns and a dragon snout. So just like with the base styles, the uh, transformation rings for the dragon styles are used on the left hand, and so you have to switch the wizard driver to transformation mode. Now what you'll notice is that the sound there just seems to end, without any kind of big finish. And that's because these work similar to the Kick Strike Wizard Ring in that they make use of the Wizard Driver's memory. So in order to properly use them, first you have to use their base style and then use the Dragon Ring. And with that, Conan Wizard can become uh, Flame Dragon, Water Dragon, Hurricane Dragon, or Land Dragon, enhanced versions of his four base styles. And so with those come enhancements to his appearance. The first thing to note is how the uh, general color schemes are now inverted, where what used to be uh, accent colors now become the main colors. For the heads, 
they gain those uh, draconic traits that were on the rings. Those being the horns and the snout. And now gain two gemstones embedded into the sides of their heads, as well as the one on their forehead. They also now have a dragon's face on the chest. And the location of the gemstones embed on their chest now changes. They also gain full on rings on both shoulders with their magic gemstones. They interestingly seem to uh, kind of change the way uh, the pieces look, so they seem to be a, mo a bit more armored now as well. And the use of a dragon here as the motif may be linked to how, in certain mythologies, dragon's blood is said to have magical properties. So uh, having the spirit of a dragon within you, and having that dragon give you its power, would make sense as a way to gain increased magical power. Indeed, this does increase the uh, powers of their individual elemental magics. But the wizard dragon can lend other properties to counter wizard. With the dragon styles, counter wizard gains four new spell rings. These are unique in that instead of being cast from an orange gemstone, they're cast from the elemental gemstones that make the transformation rings. They are special, blizzard, thunder, and gravity. The special one is worth note in that this is one that can be used by all four of the styles, and this gives each one a different part of the wizard dragon. Well, for the other three, they're used specifically by uh, water dragon, hurricane dragon, and land dragon. And essentially, they give them a uh, new elemental power related to their current element, or something of a, a variation on their existing elemental power. So through the special wizard ring, the dragon styles each gain a trait of the wizard dragon that can somewhat be connected to the individual element. For flame dragon, it gets the dragon skull and the dragon's ability to breathe fire. For water dragon, it gains the dragon's tail, the dragon's the dragon tail, which can splash and even rip through water. Hurricane Dragon gets the Dragon Wings, allowing it to soar through the sky. And for Land Dragon, it gains the Dragon Claws, which it can uh, rip, th it can tear through anything within the Earth, and even tear through it itself. And as said before. Water, Hurricane, and Land Dragon can use their individual uh, rings alongside their uh, dragon parts to make use of the variations on their different elemental magics. However, 
on their own, none of them makes full use of the dragon's power. And that's where we come to the Drago Timer. The Drago Timer is an object that was created to allow Wizard to draw out the full strength of the Wizard Dragon. It goes on to his right arm like a, gaunt a gauntlet. And it also has properties of a stopwatch. With the hand this time being one holding on to a dial with its thumb extended. Similar to how you would hold onto a stopwatch and have your thumb out to click it. In the place of a ring, we instead have this kind of carving of a dragon that sticks out of a ring base. And within the timer are four, four sections, each with the colors of the different elementals or the different elements. So, uh, after winding up, it can, the drag timer can be used by hitting the thumb and hitting it within the different zones. Then hit it one more time. Activates dragon formation. And so what this process does is kind of an enhancement of his copy wizard ring. Where it creates three copies of him, or up to three copies of him, in his different dragon styles. But unlike the copy wizard ring, where it creates just copies that mimic his movements. These clones can act independently of themselves, of the main wizard himself, and so are more powerful than the clones made using the copy wizard ring. They also have variants depending on how many times the button is pressed. The Drago Timer's final power is that it can be used with the Wizard Driver while in final time. Set at. This transforms Wizard Flame Dragon into All Dragon, giving him all of the dragon parts, allowing him to make use of the full extent of the Wizard Dragon's power. And so here things really do come to a head, where it has uh, the dragon's uh, breath, flight, tail, and claws. And so here, while well, Wizard doesn't exactly make use of his individual magics, he is able to uh, use each of the different abilities that these parts give him, which does make him extremely powerful. And this may be connected to the idea of a familiar synchronization with their master. To where they've bonded to a point where 
they are in harmony with each other. And it certainly does give the appearance of a full union between Wizard and the Dragon. And there we go. So it's certainly interesting that with these Dragon Styles, they took something that was a uh, kind of a minor design element of Wizard and brought to the forefront. And they also definitely did make good use of different aspects of the European Dragon, such as their uh, fire breath, their wings, the claws and the tail. And it's interesting how that split between the four dragon styles, but then brought together with all dragon. And the Drago Timer is certainly a nice way of engineering that. Though this also seems like it was a kind of callback to Master Rider Kuga's rising forms, which were also enhanced versions of his base forms. Regardless, it definitely seems like a logical step within Wither's evolution. So, next time, I'll be reviewing the Robin Ghost and Billy the Kid Ghost from the Ghost Change series. So thanks for watching. If you, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment, or share it. And you can check me out on Facebook at facebook.com slash krx50. And for now, this is krx50's finale.